morning. It's Sunday the 22nd of March. And this is the first of what I hope will be a series of videos over the next days and weeks. What a difference a week makes. Last Sunday I was leading worship at MC Methodist Church and while we already knew that some restrictions might come into place, I never imagined that by this Sunday there will be no public worship in any of our mainstream churches. Today I was due to be leading worship at St Andrew's Church in Skipton. It was to be a special service, part of the refugee weekend in Skipton when we would welcome guests who are refugees into our midst and also Mothering Sunday, a special Sunday in the church's calendar. I ask today that we remember refugees in our world. They're still very much part of our world situation, even in the midst of the coronavirus outbreak. According to Amnesty International, at the moment there are 25.9 million refugees in the world today, half of whom are children. Perhaps the current situation with coronavirus gives us a small insight into what it's like for refugees to have to leave their home country. I imagine there are those of us who, if we had the choice to travel to a country that was free of virus, might jump at that chance, even if it, made, if it meant making many sacrifices. In the same way, many refugees are forced to leave their homes and home country to seek refuge and safety and live healthy lives. Let us hold in our prayers today those who are refugees in our world. Today is also Mothering Sunday and this will be a strange day for many who can't be with their loved ones to mark this special day. It's also a day that brings a whole range of emotions for people in our own circumstances of both blessing and loss. Let us hold each other in our prayers on this Mothering Sunday. When I choose a card for my mum, I always make sure it says Mothering Sunday and not Mother's Day. Mother's Day is an American import. Mothering Sunday is a long-standing tradition in the Christian Church. It's a day to remember our Mother Church, to give thanks for those who cared for us and nurtured us, and to be glad for the mothering nature of God. As a lovely image of God in the Bible, as one who wants like a mother hen to gather her chicks under her wings. It's an image of care, an image of protection, an image that speaks to us powerfully today as those who are in need of God's care and protection. We want to know God's loving embrace and the reassurance and the peace that that brings. There's also a challenge to us in these uncertain times to show that love and care to others through a phone call, through shopping, through a card or a letter, through a donation to the food bank, whatever it might be. Know God's love for yourself and show God's love to others. These are challenging times, as it says in Romans 8 verse 39, nothing in all creation can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you that you long to gather us into your care like a mother hen with her chicks. Gather into your care those who are refugees and those who have no place to call home. Gather into your care all who are suffering with coronavirus and the effect it's having on our world. Gather into your care mothers and children and those for whom today is difficult and painful. Gather into your care each and every one of us and show us how we can share that care with all in need this day. We ask our prayers in the name of our loving God. Amen. <laughs>